Hello and welcome live from the Zero Project Conference 2024 at the Vienna International Center. My name is Anna. I'm the Director for Business Partnerships and Operations within the Zero Project team. But today I'm here in a slightly different role. I'm organizing and coordinating our Young Voices at ZeroCon 24. And I'm extremely happy to welcome my two guests. Uh, it's, um, uh, they will present themselves shortly in a minute. I just introduce their um, their um, project. So uh, it's Fear Nathan Production and I would say it's an extremely unique uh, social enterprise and uh, they are doing a lot of things from art to films to a lot of traveling. So I think I will, I will let them introduce themselves and um, tell us more about their project. So who would like to start? Perhaps Fion, you would like to start to introduce yourself? Yes. Good. My, my name is Fion. Your name is Fion. Yes. <coughs> and my name is Jonathan. And when you put our two names together, you get Fionathan. Fionathan <coughs> is a father and son team. A son and father team. <laughs> a son and father team planning to change the world. Yes. When did we... Um, well, maybe we should let the interviewer ask the questions. Of course. Yes, because <laughs> I've prepared them very, <laughs> very thoroughly. Mm, so, you, uh, but Fionn is a very much a more experienced interviewer than I am. And but uh, I will try my best, Fionn. I promised you before. So. Um, to give, um, to give the audience at home, but also in the room, a little bit uh, of context, text and history and how, how your, um, your uh, social enterprise developed. Perhaps you could tell, uh, when, how, did, how did the project start? Did you, more, did you plan to have an impact on a whole group? Or was it more that you were focused to, to on, your, on your own development, on... on um, making an independent living and uh, independent choices uh, possible for you, Fionn. Would you like to start with that uh, sure. answer? Yeah. Um, I, I would say both, mm -hmm. but, but the, real re the, the real reason uh, of health mm -hmm. uh, wouldn't give an individual a, a, a direct payment a person, a person, a personal b b budget. So, so, so we had to to set up a to, to set up a, a company to act like a service provider, but but for one person. Mm -hmm. yes. So it was centered on the really the idea and the, to create a personal budget. Um, for for Fion and, and his own financial uh, resources and, yeah, and yeah. The all that mm -hmm. came about when Fion was looking <coughs> when Fion was looking for his own um, choices in life, yeah. and Fion said, "I don't want to go to a day service. Right. I have other ideas. I do. <coughs> yeah, and I'd like money for to direct my own um, my own program. Yeah, and." The department said, uh, no, we don't do that. Right. And then we said, well, we'll come back and ask you next week. Yeah. And if you say no again, we'll just come back the next week and we'll just keep asking till you come back, till you give yes. us the right answer. Yeah. And um, they did, as you said, they said, well, we won't give money to an individual, mm -hmm. but if you're prepared to set up a company, then you can be the first person in Ireland yes. with an intellectual disability to manage your own funding. Yes. And we said, well, why not use this uh, company that we're creating to do other things, helping yeah. you to have a great life? So yes. So you made a smart hiring choice for your support I person. I did a, 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 a very p professional yet clever one, and I decided <laughs> to, to, to hire you, man. And then we <laughs> realized, well, the company should all... I mean, Fionn's going to work just as hard as I am, so we quickly figured out through a government grant that pays companies who hire people with disability. Yeah. We said, can we avail of this? And they said, you're a company, you're hiring someone with disability, yes. yes. Even though you're not being hired to stock shelves right. or, or the typical jobs. Um, we said, we're going to create a person-centered job yeah. around your skills and interests. Yes. And so we got half of, the, half of your wages back yeah. through a grant. And then it was a matter of, well, what are we going to do? Yeah. Now, that, now that you have these, this opportunity, you have the support, yeah. support for what? 
And so I asked you, what, what do you want to be when you grow up? Right. Do you remember the first answer you gave? Yes. I, I said, I want to be, I want to be the next David, uh, to be the next David Attenborough. Traveling the world and learning about nature, nice girl. sharing yes, all of that, yes, yes. and um, and I thought, well, teenagers often change their minds, so I better <laughs> ask him again. And yes. the second time I asked you a week later, do you remember the answer you gave me then? Um, that I wanted to be a m musician. Yeah, playing your violin. Right? Yes, yes, as a as a profession. Yes. A and I thought, oh well, that's a good idea, but um, that's very different. I better ask a third time. Right. And you said, I want to be a member of One Direction. <laughs> <And> <laughs> so every time I asked, it was something different. I thought, we can explore all of this. Yes. And that's where we, when we started the Happiness Project. Yes. Which was a, and, and con continues to be, a series of interviews asking people, some of whom are in the careers that you're considering. Yes. The same question. Yes. What is that question? What do you love about your life? And Fionn has, has interviewed over 700 people. It's a YouTube channel. And um, because some of those people are quite famous, it's, it's had a lot of uh, views online. And yeah. if I may add, there is another interview coming up here at the conference. So the founder of the Essel Foundation is extremely happy to also take part in this interview yeah. uh, wow. series. And we are thrilled. Yes, we and, are. And just to finish up, Fionn, this question yeah. of was it just for you, or were you thinking of helping others? Thinking of helping others too, as well as myself, yeah. And the company has three aims in our, yes. in our articles and memoranda. Yes. And do you want to say what they are? Yes. Th the first one is to help me, Fionn Crombie Angus, to have a great life. Th the second goal is to share our story far and and why with other c c with other communities to help others to have their own version of a great life exactly yes a and and then the third goal is to simply re remove barriers and and obstacles preventing people f from having great lives Thanks a lot, and uh, I see that you have many talents. You know how to hire good, good people for your social enterprise, but you're also a musician, so that that yes. seems very exciting. So um, you've told me in the in the preparation um, discussions that uh, two, 2023 actually uh, you saw a big leap forward in your in your production and your project, and um, so you started to design a course together. Yes. And I will try to pronounce the topic. I, okay. I, I did a lot, of, um, a lot of training for that, but it's still difficult, so you will help me out. Okay. I will start with, a, it's called Kapka. So tell us more about the creative approaches to practical community advocacy. Okay, yes. Um, so, so yes, it is a course. Um, Called called creative approaches to practical community advocacy, and I guess well, it's about Down syndrome leadership all around Ireland. Actually, mm -hmm. the Irish government has funded it, and we were quite thrilled and surprised to receive such a large grant. Be, um, given the fact that we are. Our company is pretty much the two of us. Yes. We do have a board of seven yes. people who help to guide us, and we have others who help. But yeah. really, it's just a, a two-man team. Yeah. And yet, when they, um, the government put out a call for um, projects to help people with Down syndrome in Ireland to be more engaged in their communities, yeah. they thought, this was written for us. Why don't we aim big and see what happens? Yeah. And they granted us the money. and. There's three parts to the creative approaches to practical community advocacy yes. project. Yes. What is the first phase that will be starting immediately after your internship in Brussels is finished at the end of March? Um, well, the first phase is online. Mm -hmm. is, is online work uh, with the curriculum. 20 to 30 people. Yeah. Uh, an eight-week curriculum that we have devised um, partly based on our own experiences, yeah. based on 
the program we created for Disability Federation of Ireland some yes. years back, yeah. and our more recent work helping to pass the, a piece of legislation in the United Kingdom yes. called the... Called the Down Kingdom Act. The second phase is all going to be in person, an artistic retreat where each participant having chosen what community project they'd like to do, each yeah. individually, will represent that project in what kind of an art form? Um, a, a, a human library. A human library, yeah. so people will engage in conversation at the big event, which is the third phase, yes. but also as a, what is it called? The box? Um, diorama. A, a diorama, a, a box within which is a world that the individual imagines their community could look like. And the third phase is when they do, it's like a pitching event yeah. where they will propose the idea to potential mentors yes. and also a look. W we plan to give scholarships so that the project is done, but it continues into yeah. these community projects. This is extremely interesting, all, all your work. And perhaps we have still a little bit of time would you also like to, um, to talk a little bit about your future plans? I think you have set your goals for 2025 already to bring in partners across Europe to go to, to share this journey with you. Uh, what exactly would you like our partners to achieve with you together? Yes, so this is where things get really exciting for the, bo for the both of us actually. It's called, it's called Abundance uh, and it's going to be a worker-owned cooperative, actually. A worker-owned cooperative called Abundance. Yeah. Um, because we feel like one of, the, one of the big things that's missing in the lives of people with Down syndrome and other intellectual disabilities is participation in the economic life. And we really feel that when you think about what your life's purpose is, if, if you all ask yourselves, it may well be be connected to your career. And unfortunately, the vast majority of people with Down syndrome never have a career. And why is that? I don't know, but right. we think we can help to fix that. Yeah. So rather than just finding people jobs, which is a, is, is a good thing, yeah. we are saying, let's do what we've done, yes. bring a group of people together and have them create their own vision yep. of what work can be. Yes. And really, we're not, our goal is not to help people with Down syndrome have jobs, but to help people with Down syndrome gain wealth. Yeah. So we're looking much higher. And yes. we have partners in Helsinki and Madrid yeah. who are ready to start with us. So we yes. think this idea <coughs> of abundance, it's so simple, but it's quite profound. Yeah. And we think it could really grow around the world. Yes. So thanks a lot. I think you're at the best place to, to make new connections and to find new partners here at the Zero Project Conference 2024. And I think it's extremely interesting uh, what, what you're doing and uh, congratulations for everything that you have achieved together already and all the best for all your future plans. It was a pleasure to have you here today uh, as oh an interview partner. You. Hyun, you're, very, you're really a, a very experienced uh, interviewer and speaker already, so I think I was a lot more nervous than you were. Oh. So thanks a lot for being <laughs> here. Enjoy the conference there are still one and a half days coming yes. up with a lot of interesting sessions and you, Jonathan thank you to you as well and yeah, I hope you have a wonderful a wonderful rest of the week to thank all you. to everyone who is uh, joining us from home uh, thanks for thanks for joining this conversation keep um, keep tuned in for the other fireside chats there's a lot of interesting conversation coming up the whole day and we say thank you and goodbye from the Zero Project Conference 2024 at the Vienna International Center thank you thank you thank you Oh. Uh -huh.